Hey everybody, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to show you guys how we can create some cool effects in Martin M series with the grouping tools. Now in the last video, if you didn't catch it, I showed you how to build an effect from scratch and so you'll want to check that out before watching this video or else you'll probably be lost. First thing I want to do to use the grouping tools is turn off any wave or step that I have selected and click on the grouping tools here. Now 7 through 11, these fan by, are going to be the grouping tools that apply to effects, so we're going to use those. The first one I want to show you is the fan block of X. I'm going to set that to 2 and then set my wave per X to 4. Now look at what's happened here. You can see my fixtures are now doing the effect in blocks of 2 and it repeats every four of those or every eight fixtures. So after you see right here where I've got my mouse waving back and forth, that's where it repeats. So if I set that to two and two, you can now see every two is going and it's repeating every four fixtures or every two by two blocks. Similarly, we can do this divide by X, which is similar to block. We divide it by two and do a wave of two and you can see we've got half our rig then the other half of our rig. Another really cool one that I want to show you is fan mirror per X, all right? So we're just going to set this to two, turn off our wave, all right? Now we'll turn it back on. Say we set that to four, so we've mirrored per X at two, we've got a wave per X of four. We can see now that our effect is going from the outside and coming into the inside of our fixtures. So I really like to use this a lot because I like symmetrical effects that start on the outside of the room and come towards the middle. And um, that's exactly what the mirror per X is doing. Now if you've got more fixtures, hey, set that to four and then set your wave accordingly. And you'll see how the effect changes, how it restarts more often because we've increased that value. Now another really cool one, if I turn off my wave and step here, let's go ahead, actually let me clear this effect out completely. We'll start fresh, all right? We're gonna select our vipers, LEDs and dimmers, all three fixtures I got here, by the groups. So I, I use the group selectors here in my 2D view, but I could also use them in the programmer. And we're gonna go ahead, set an effect, on intensity, so I'm just going to set swing and speed quite quickly. Then I'm going to go to this effects timing, go fan by group, and then I'm going to set my wave to three since I've got three groups. You can see here now the effect is going by the groups of fixtures. And so if you start to think about it, you know, with the, the many different types of groups you can make in your console, you can very quickly and easily make some really cool looking effects across different groups of lights here. And so that's something I want to show you. Now, before we close here, I do want to show you guys pan tilt effects since it's a little bit different in this console than intensity effects. And the reason it's different is because Martin's changed it a little in M-Series to make it really a little simpler on us. So I'm going to click Pan Tilt, go over to Effect, and we'll see it looks a little different here. We've got our Swing Pan and Tilt, which are separate. We've got one speed control for both of them. And then we've got our Figure Control, which allows us to modify the curve that it works on. It's a little different than a typical sine wave, but I think it's really cool, and as you start to get around and use different ones, you'll see how they make some different effects. So, I'm going to go ahead here, show you this one. Now, if you do want to go at it old school, you want to modify these effects just like any other effect, you can click this cog here, find pan tilt combo, and you can turn that off, and pan and tilt will be separate in the effects engine. Now I'll set my timing here, say so I set my wave to 3, actually I don't like that, I'm going to mirror it, set my wave to 4, and you can see here that I've got a cool mirrored effect. Set our wave to 2 actually for a really interesting 
weird effect. And so that's how we use the effects engine in Martin M series. Guys, let me know in the comments um, or via email at questions at learnstagelighting.com if you have any other questions or anything else I can answer for you guys. And happy lighting. And if you haven't already, go check me out. Go check all our stuff out at learnstagelighting.com. Thanks.